Hey booktube, this is Kelly. Thank you so much for watching my channel, books I'm not reading. I'm so glad you're here. Um, before I begin, I just wanna say I have um, uh, some surprises, at least there were surprises for me at the end of this video, so um, stay with me. Um, but I welcome you all. I hope to hear from you in the comment section what you're reading, what your special plans are for this weekend. Um, if you have any thoughts about the books that I'm going to talk about today, I would love love to hear that. Um, if you don't feel comfortable leaving a comment, you can always leave an emoji or you can give this video a thumbs up just as a way of saying hello. I really do appreciate it. So hi you guys i finished two books this week i'm so excited um <laughs> i know last week i needed some of you to kind of like build me up a little bit like of course you can finish you know those books uh in november kelly what are you what are you thinking of course you can and i have to say that i had a lot of reading um you know to do in dr thorne by anthony trollope but Eventually, it just was like being on a steam train and I finished this book uh, Sunday before I went to bed. I loved it. I absolutely loved Dr. Thorne. Um, and if anyone had told me that a book in that, in that particular series, uh, the Bar Barsuch Hair Chronicles series, if any book could be better than Barchester Towers, I... I would have been really surprised, but Dr. Thorne, Dr. Thorne is so good. And I really felt the influence of Jane Austen on this novel. Um, there is so much discussion about marrying for money. Um, you know, in addition to, of course, a little romance. Um, but so much, it was just really, really intense. Now, I don't think and I don't think Anthony Trollope writes as tightly as, say, um, someone like Charles Dickens. Uh, and I know people think, oh, Dickens, like, he got paid by the word, whatever. Trollope, you know, he has some tangents. There are definitely things that, you know, could be edited from his books. But uh, I, I enjoyed it. I mean, he's, it's so it's so wonderful and hilarious when he talks to um, the reader. There is a character in this book, and I'm not going to say who it is, but I swear to you, she is the literary descendant of Lady Catherine de Bourgh from Pride and Prejudice. Um, and I just got, I just got such a huge, um, huge kick out of it. Um, because in some ways, like at a certain point, you kind of see where things are headed, and. Uh, you know that that some people are going to be biting their tongues and <laughs> that sort of thing. So, yeah, just here's just a line from one character to another. I'm not going to tell you who it is or the circumstances, but but tell me, like, doesn't this sound like Lady Catherine de Bourgh? Impudent hussy, forward, ill-conditioned, saucy minx. Um, <laughs> I just. I mean, it, there's more to it than that, but I, I don't want to give anything away. But it is so much like the conversation uh, between Lady Catherine and Elizabeth Bennet in Pride and Prejudice, uh, you know, uh, about like, promise me you're not going to marry so-and-so, like <laughs> that sort of thing. So anyway, Dr. Thorne gets five stars from me. My goal is to read more Trollope next year. If you like Jane Austen, I would really encourage you to check out Trollope um, and this series, which begins with The Warden and then Barchester Towers and then Dr. Thorne. And then there's, I think, yeah, three more, three more books to go. I finished another book. Um, the book police informed me last week that I might be cheating if I finish this book early. But um, the advantage to reading it early is to see if there's a potential future video um, in it. And I do, I do hope that there, that there will be, but I did finish Shakespeare for um, Every Day of the Year, which is compiled by Ali Asiri. And uh, yes, so I finished that at the beginning of November, but 
now it's done and I don't have to be stressed about it. I do have something marked that I'm hoping to um, uh, share with you guys later this month. So this isn't the last that you will see that book on my channel. I did, um, I think last week I talked about like that, that thus far, uh, the Name of the Rose by Umberto Eco had been easier to read than Dr. Thorne, which some of you expect sur surprise at. And then I got a little farther into The Name of the Rose and I was just like, oh my goodness. Um, and uh, somebody asked me if uh, you know I wanted to DNF this book. And in spite of this channel's name, books I'm not reading, like I rarely, rarely DNF anything. So um, I, I will, I will finish this book this Just month. If you're not familiar with, with what this book is about, it takes place in the Middle Ages. And, um, these two monks, one of them is a Franciscan monk. I hope I'm saying that right. And one of them is a Benedictine monk. And, uh, they arrive at this abbey on some business that we, I still haven't found out really what it is. Um, but there has been a murder or suicide the abbot isn't really sure and so yeah it as soon as the main the two main characters arrive at this at this uh monastery it there is like this real feeling of tension and um oh gosh just like a kind of a dark there's a, a darkness to it um I, it, it's, it's ominous. That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, it feels really ominous, um, almost, almost right away when they get there. So, um, yeah, but anyway, so I'm, I'm enjoying this. Um, it is definitely something that is maybe not what I would normally read. Um, but I'm so glad that I have it and I'm enjoying reading this with, uh, one of you. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's good. It's good. It's just, it, it's, it's definitely pushing me and challenging me, which is awesome. I love that. So anyway, I am looking forward to reading more of this and I feel extremely confident that I am going to have this done, um, before the month is over. I, I, I took a couple days, a couple extra days off around, uh, Thanksgiving. So I, yes, I am ready. Okay, so it is nonfiction November, and all I've talked to you about is, um, you know, fiction or excerpts from a play. Uh, so Paris to the Past, this is on my high priority TBR, as, as is The Name of the Rose and Dr. Thorne. They were on my high priority TBR, TBR for um, 2022. Um, and so this is the last nonfiction book that I have, um, on there. So I definitely want to get to it this month. I swear to you, I'm going to start reading it while this video is uploading. <laughs> this is about, um, traveling through French history by train. I looked at the front of it. There's a prologue, but then, um, in a nice, um, gesture, <laughs> a nice like companion to the name of the rose. The first chapter is about the middle ages. Now, of course, the name of the rose takes place in Italy, um, not Paris, but I really do think that that will, um, enlighten the experience of reading both books. Um, and yes, so I'm, I am starting this. I know I'm a, I'm a, I'm a few days into November. <laughs> <laughs> a little more than a week into November. So yeah, but I, I am going to start this and I feel, I'm feeling so much more confident. You guys really, uh, gave me a necessary boost last week with, um, all your encouraging words of, of course you can, of course you can read that many books this month, Kelly, of course you can. So yeah, I'm feeling, I'm feeling much more confident now. The other thing we have to talk about is a gigantic package that arrived to me this week. And, um, oh, from one of you, and it was so 
it was so kind. So what happened was um, the conversation started off in the comment section and um, someone mentioned a couple books that I had never heard of, I wasn't familiar with at all. And uh, yeah, and so I was like, oh, I'll, I'll keep an eye out for them. I'll, I'll, you know, I'll investigate and see if I can find them. And apparently that person went and looked to see if I would be able to find them. And they were kind of like came back to me and said, you know, I, I think it's going to be hard for you to get a hold of these books um, in America. And so I, you know, I'd be happy to have you happy to send, send this book to you or, um, and I offered to pay for the book. I offered to pay for shipping, even though I have no idea how I would do that. <laughs> but, but I did offer. Um, and of course they were like, no, no, no. And then they were like, well, do you want anything else? Like if I'm, if I'm going to mail you a package, you know, like I can send you something else. And I was like, you definitely don't have to do that. And, and again, like I, this person like completely overwhelmed me. I was speechless. I was, I was near tears at just the incredible generosity. Um, I happened to mention to this person that I have a bit of a sweet tooth. I really, really like sweet things. And so, holy cow. <laughs> <laughs> the mother of all I mean I I just I just can't even tell you guys like there's no way I could show you everything in the box anyway it, it would be just an absurdly long video not necessarily about books although they did send me oh look who's here hi are you gonna say hi to everyone come here oh blue um, okay, so again, I was just um, floored by this package. I have to find a way to share some of the things uh, in this package with other people because there's like a million calories <laughs> inside this box. But anyway, so I wanted to share a few of the things that um, they sent me. So um, first of all, there are these, I don't have it with me, but there are these incredible gingerbread like cookies. Um, and I've been dipping them in my tea at night and now I'm like, Oh, to, like trying to like save some for, for like when I have a day off or something like that. Um, they're so delicious. And then I, I couldn't help myself anymore. You guys, you don't understand. Like, so this person sent this stuff from Germany. Um, I, I can't read, I can't read German. <laughs> so, so they also sent like this huge, um, letter, like explaining what everything was. And, um, so this is a little thing of marzipan. And yes, I have, I have opened it. <laughs> um, because this is not the kind of thing that I can get where I live. There could be like definitely places in America where, yeah, you can go to um, like a specialty store or something like that and get marzipan. But I personally, I don't know where to find it here. <laughs> so keep in mind, I kind of live in the middle of nowhere. They also sent just, you. You're, you, you guys aren't just, you're just not even going to believe this. Look at this. I'm thinking of taking this with me um, to my, to see my family this weekend. Oh, please, please let the roads be good. Um, but yeah, so I, I haven't, I haven't opened this yet because I'm afraid like the marzipan, like I just won't be able to stop. Um, they also sent... Um, this super cute, it's like a, I think it's like a keychain. Um, and it's, I mean, it's got a little hook on it. So there's a whole bunch of things you could do. Um, and it's from Bavaria, um, which I guess is famous for its pretzels. And 
I'm, I'm thinking of uh, turning this into a Christmas ornament and writing uh, the name of the person who gave this to me and the year um, on the back of it somehow and then having it having it on my Christmas tree because it's just so cute. It's just so cute and it's just, I mean, there are a bunch of Christmas treasures in that in that pocket package and again it's just but so I also wanted to share with you the book so and I really want to know if you guys have heard of this um this is the Chinese maze murders by Robert Van Gulick crimes of classic ingenuity um so my understanding is this is part of um the detective detective's name is Judge D, um, justly described as the Sherlock Holmes of ancient China. So that's like, that's really exciting. Um, and then inside I saw, so this is a Chinese detective story suggested by three original ancient Chinese plots. Um, and there's also, um, illustrations in here, which again, is pretty, pretty unusual uh for like a just you know a paperback murder mystery but anyway uh for this person the series is really special and so I definitely am going to be reading this um in the near future hopefully in at the latest 2023 sometime but I'm really excited so I'd love to know what you guys think anyway I'm sorry I can't share with you all of the treats um <laughs> this person sent me it was it it was so kind it was so kind and um and I'm I'm not sharing it with you um you know because I expect people to send me packages or send me gifts of any kind um by any means um but it was just it was just very you know very thoughtful and I was really, really moved by it. And again, I mean, most, most of those things are not things that I can buy anywhere in America, let alone <laughs> the middle of nowhere. I, again, love to hear from you in the comment section. If you have any thoughts about any of these books or you want to tell me about what you're reading, awesome. So thank you guys so much for watching. Booktube, remember to be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.